I'm Claire from Creative The Otter Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's make is definitely Christmassy. Um, it's a Christmas lantern. It's got a tea light inside. It's really quick and simple to make. You, I've put panels on all four sides, but you could get away with just doing it on two. You could hang it as a tree decoration, or you could just have them on your table as table decorations, or just around the house for Christmas. Um, I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. I've used um, shimmer card and some vellum. I've also used some dies that go with the time of giving bundle so they go with this stamp set but I've not actually used the stamp set I've just used a couple of the dies I've used this Christmas one here on the side and I've used this snowflake one on the front now when I first tried these in my um, die cutting machine I was a bit disappointed because it just leaves this panel I wanted to, it to do a nice cut all the way round um, but actually I prefer it this way now after making this um, lantern so let's get crafting let's move that one out of the way so to make the lantern the basic size just get on my cutting paper shimmer card just because it adds a little bit of sparkle to it but you could use basic white I also thought about using pool party because that's quite a nice Christmassy subtle Christmassy colour you could basically do it in any colour um, I might even make one in old olive because that's my favourite colour um, what do I need oh shall I give you the sizes first so that you can take hold of them so you need very little card and a small piece of vellum. So we should be able to whiz through this fairly simply and then you can jazz it up and turn it into your own unique make. Okay, so on my piece of shimmer card, I am going to cut it on the shorter side at two and a half inches across the whole length of it so two and a half inches right the way down okay. and then I'm going to turn it sideways and I am going to cut it at 11 and a half okay so I've just dented my card so I'm going to turn that around and try and get rid of some of that so 11 and a half so in the UK it's almost the whole length of the A4 sheet of card. Turn the, your piece of paper wrap round and on the shorter side, both sides score it at a quarter of an inch. So make sure you've got your scoring blade out the way and just score it a couple of times so you've got a nice crisp score line at a quarter of an inch on both sides. So I've just spun my card round there to finish this side turn it round to your long side again and then we've got some score lines to do along here so the first one is one and three quarters just there the next one is five the next one is six and a half and then the last one is nine and three quarters and this is where I start to doubt myself but no I think it all looks good so I've just gone over those score lines a little bit because I want them to be nice and crisp now if we cut off the pieces that we don't need on here so Basically, this bit is the base of your lantern. So we don't need those little um, rectangles either side, and we don't need them either side of what will be your tabs. 
So I'm hoping, because it's white card, it's quite tricky to see on camera. But if I cut them off and then show you. So the first bit I've just cut off is there. Okay, I've just cut it at an angle there because it will give me a nicer, neater corner. Cutting off this bit, which is going to be the base. Okay, so this piece here. So I'm just making a tab either side of the lantern side. This bit here, I will lay it down in a minute so you can see what bits I've cut off. Okay, so just on this side alone, I've cut off that piece there, that piece at the end there, and then this side, oh, just done exactly the same, and that's left me with these two, what will become tabs. So just spin it round and I do the same on this side. Exactly the same. Just there. So this is the second tea light make I've made this year. Um, I must, there's something about the tea lights. I think because it's quite chilly outside, very autumnal, almost winter like in the evenings, um, it makes you think of you getting dressed in your PJs, sitting in front of the fire, lighting a few candles, and just being cozy. So that's what my piece looks like. I am gonna do the next piece or shall I do the die cutting? I think I'll do the die cutting. So I am gonna use this snowflake die and like I said what happens when you die cut is it takes all out all the background and leaves the snowflakes behind which on a card I was struggling to find a use of but now that I've made the lantern it's just reignited my excitement and I will be making lots of cards with it but I would really love to show you this lantern so this is going to be the base so what I need to do is think about which way round I want my die to cut so if that's the base do I want the snowflakes coming down or do I want them going up mm, I quite like them going up so I'm going to make sure that it's in the center of this biggest panel with the tabs and then I've got my stamping up cut and emboss machine which is perfect for this have you got one of these I've been taking this to craft group with me on a Wednesday night um, invariably I usually forget something important but I don't forget this little machine I have forgotten the cutting plates though before which is not helpful okay is this going to play ball now so that's just going to go all the way through so let me show you what happens it's like magic so if you peel that off can you see you just need to poke out all the little bits which come out fairly easy actually so just push through those little bits and that's one of your side panels done so let's get my pokey tool see if I can speed up a bit the last thing you want to do is watch me poking out holes in paper so that bit's there that bit's there nearly there right Let's do the other end so you can see what happens with that. Oh, bring those plates back over, layer them up. Again, think about which way round you want your die. So on that one, it was going up. So I'm spinning the die round so that the snowflakes are going up again. Just get that little bit of paper off of there. 
Now, I don't usually die cut on the camera because it is a bit like watching paint dry, but I thought as it gave a slightly different effect, it was worth showing you. Let's see if that's there. So we can move this out of the way for a minute. Okay, let's see if this one has come out as well. So, just push that. The big bit is very good at coming out. Perfect. It's really tempting to pull it and then rip your card. Don't do that. It will come, just be patient. There's a little bit. Sometimes I use tumble dry sheets if you're having trouble getting your dies to cut out, especially on slightly thicker card because our Stamping Up card is such good quality. Sometimes the dies struggle a little bit. And that's that side done. Move those out of the way. So already you can see, oh, that's like a little heart. Did you see that? <laughs> so already you can see that that is one of the sides of the lantern. Okay, let's do this one now. So this is the gift of giving bundle, but it's made me think about my other dies. I need to go back through them and check if they do this, if they leave the image behind or if they actually cut it out. I'm sure that I've had some in the past that have done that. Okay, just this tricky little one here. Yep, see, patience is a virtue. I don't have much patience. Oh, there's a couple there. And I think that's it. So that's our two panels on that. We're just going to put that to one side now and do the other piece. So if I bring back in my trimmer. So what we're going to do now is do a piece to go across there. So that would be the opposite side. So bring your shimmer card back in. We need a piece that is one and a half inches by eight and a half. So one and a half, one and a half. Okay, and this time you don't need to score on the short side, it's just the long side. So you need to score at three and a quarter. Score, not cut. Five and a quarter. And then eight and a half, which is the end of the paper. Okay, this time I've used the smaller, because this is slightly narrower, I've used the smaller die. And this is like decorations hanging down. So you need to make sure that they're coming from the top. So this would be my, I'll put it on there, that will be my base. So I need to make sure that my die is coming down this way. So if I bring the embossing die cutting machine back in, from there. This is quite a bit smaller, so I'm going to make sure it's sort of in the middle and just run that through. And on that side, these ones pieces come out very simply. Those little bits out in a minute, and then let's bring it back and do it on the other side. Okay, so again, make sure you've got your die the right way round. 
you want it to be hang the decorations to be hanging down. Use the end of my scissors just to get those little bits out. Oh, that definitely is a little heart. Did you see that tiny heart? Oh, look at that tiny, tiny heart. Try not to look at it, Claire. Otherwise, you'll be scooping it up and saving it for something. Okay. Last few bits to come out of here. That tiny, another tiny heart. So distractible. Right. Okay, so we've got our two pieces. The other thing that we need to do is turn the top of this into our tag. So whichever tag top of die uh, punch you've got, just because it's two inches across, it will fit right in, right at the back. Turn it over, you can see it's there. Now mine catches a bit. I need to get my hubby to file it. So I'm just gonna take that little piece off of there. Just round that. And do the other side. I think that's about central. off where it's cool. So I've got my two pieces. I'm going to use my bone folder and just affirm all these folds that I've done. So all the score lines, I'm just making sure they're nice and strong. So it's that one there. These ones here. So there's not much of an edge so you want them nice and crisp this one this side nice and crisp I'm thinking you could turn this into a bigger lantern as well if you've got bigger dies that do this it'd be fairly easy to just resize it just folding over my sides here just because they're gonna be glued down and keep my lantern all together. Just put that down and this side here. And then the last bit is just adding the vellum. So this one has just got a score line there and a score line there. So the vellum that you need. So for the bigger sided lantern, you need pieces of vellum that are two, roughly two inches, maybe a little bit smaller by three and a quarter, and they will just fit in. Now, glue on vellum shows up really easily. So what I tend to do is just put some glue either side. Um, vellum's not heavy to, to weigh down. So I'm just gonna put that either side and sort of press the glue away from the snowflakes so that just goes on there and do it this side now there and there love a bit of sparkle at christmas well that's the point you could actually die cut some of these snowflakes out stick them over the top glitter ones that would really look effective so that's the inside of that Ta -da! this one so the pieces of vellum are roughly one and a quarter by two and three quarters and this time I'm not going to do it either side I'm going to do a little bit at the bottom 
and a little bit at the top and again push the glue away from your opening so you don't see the glue do this one and we are nearly there how exciting is this such a nice little gift or a nice little tree decoration but I've definitely got some people that I'm thinking of so the last bit is to cross them so stick this bit in the middle of here so sometimes it's easier to bring the sides up so you can see where the edge of your lantern is and that just goes like that just stick that in place and then pick a side I'm gonna go with this side I'm just gonna put the glue along my tab and then I'm gonna bring this up to meet it now this is a really small tab it's only a quarter of an inch but if you did it any thicker, you would see it behind the vellum. So what I do is I tacky stick it. So just stick it where I think it is right at the edge. And then I go behind and press it with my bone folder. Really firm down where the glue is. So can you see it gives you a nice crisp edge. I'm going to do the same with this side, so the opposite side at the moment. So I've put some glue on. I'm going to bring my side up to it. Press on it so that it's just starting to stick. Then when I'm happy, go inside with my bone folder and just really press down. If you've got skinny fingers, you'll be able to get your fingers in there, but mine are quite chubby. So, and that just gives you that really nice crisp edge. Okay, now this side is a little bit more tricky because it's up to you whether you do two at once, which I tend to do. So I've put glue on both sides. I'm making sure that that is just sticking there on this side. Then I do this side, making sure it's just sticking at the top here where I can get my fingers in. Then I again lay it on the side and just go in with my bone folder. And just really press on the tab. Ta-da! Okay, so then all you need to do, just get the candle out of here because I've only got one candle, is switch your candle on and put it in. You could um, put a dimensional on the back so it sticks. Then put some ribbon in just to tie it together. You could make a little tag, put a nice Christmas message on it, even put a message inside. That would be really nice. I'm not going to do a bow because my fingers are quite gluey. I am just going to tie it. Isn't this ribbon lovely as well? So there we go. Our second Christmas lantern. Ta-da! Well... Thanks for watching. If you've liked what you see and you want to see some more, please subscribe. Um, I'd love to see your makes. You can email me at creativetheotterway at gmail.com. Um, hopefully see you soon.